welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today I'm doing a makeup tag. I haven't done a makeup tag in so long. I miss like the old school YouTube days where there was like just nothing but makeup tags and there still are makeup tags but people just don't do them as much. But I feel like there's so many out there it's hard to come up with a new one, but I found this new one and the creator is called Angelica. I'll put her channel link in the description box, of course, and her video as well. This is called the limited edition makeup tag. I thought this was perfect because I was actually going to sit down and film a video on like all of my favorite limited edition palettes that I wish were permanent. So this is kind of like some questions, some answers, and just, just some fun. So we're gonna have some fun today. Grab a drink, grab a snack, girlfriend. Let's do this makeup tag. So question number one, I've got them here on my phone. Let's see. All right, question number one. What is the limited edition product you are most happy you got your hands on? Hands down, it has to go to the Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D. This thing, oh my gosh, I was really on the fence of getting this and I'm so glad I got it. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I thought, you know what, I might as well use it. This palette has so many beautiful colors. You've got all mattes at the bottom, beautiful shimmers at the top. I mean, you can do so much with this palette. Oh, the mattes are so buttery soft. You, get, you don't get that much fallout with this palette. This should be permanent, like Kat Von D needs to make this permanent because this palette is beautiful so I'm really really happy that I got my hands on this when I did. Number two, what is your least favorite limited edition products you picked up, the thing you could have been without? I definitely, I don't really have an answer, I really can't think of any palette that I own that I regret like buying. I'm pretty selective and careful about buying limited edition products because then you know you're kind of stuck with it and you fall in love with it and you just don't want to use it and you put it away. So I try to select the things that I know I'm going to love and use. You know packaging has to be on point. I have to really love the product and yeah I don't really have anything that I don't like. <laughs> Number three, what brand do you think does limited edition best? So for me, 100%, I'm sorry, but it's Kat Von D. I just, I love her whole aesthetic. I love the kind of, you know, little touch of goth in there. Her packaging and artwork is always on point. You know, all of her palettes, they just look so beautiful. And I would love to see her do more of this type of stuff because I just, I love, I love these two palettes here, the Monarch and the Chrysalis so so beautiful i always end up getting her palettes because they just really grab my attention they're always unique and different from everything else on the market and from a like cruelty free standpoint i think it's really hard to find something unique nowadays i mean there's definitely a lot out there you know I, there's a lot that i haven't tried that i definitely want to try but i think just cat bunny stands out to me the most she wins number four and to flip things over, what brand do you think does limited edition the worst? I would definitely say Too Faced. I know a lot of people are probably going to say Too Faced, but I don't know. Just everything that they come out with looks like it's for a child. Just the obnoxious, trinkety, bulky packaging. I feel like they just keep regenerating the same colors, switching them around, giving them a different name or maybe a different finish. Yeah, I just... Anything from Too Faced or different limited edition collections, I always, always pass on. Number five, name one thing or more hmm, you wish wasn't limited edition. This is so hard, you guys, because honestly, I wish all the palettes I own that were limited edition were permanent. First off, of course, I this needs to be permanent. Like one thing I don't like about Kat Von D, and I know a lot of people can agree, all of her stuff that comes out is always <laughs> limited edition so i definitely think the metal matte palette she needs to bring this back this needs to be permanent this will be a great staple eyeshadow palette you've got colors you've got all these different variety of mattes and shimmers i really wish that this was permanent i'm also going to throw in a couple more because i can't help my help myself this one is from anastasia beverly hills i don't own too much from um, that brand but I have to say I've fallen in love with their eyeshadows I think the formulation is amazing this is one of my favorite colorful palettes this is the artist palette you guys remember when this came out forever ago I still pull this out once in a while and use it and it's just so 
freaking pretty. I love the pops of colors. I mean, they're just really pigmented, buttery soft. I definitely think Anastasia should have something like this permanent in uh, their range and collection. I wish this was permanent and I also really, really, really wish that the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics was permanent as well. I mean, look how beautiful she is. I did a full review and demo on this palette. If you guys missed it, definitely check it out. But uh, you've got mattes sort of like in the center, all these beautiful metallic type big shadows around the outer part of this palette and you got a highlighter in the middle. It's just uh, all around amazing palette. I can't tell you how many times I've reached for this and you better get your hands on this before it's completely sold out. Eventually I'm sure they will get rid of it, but yes, it is limited edition and I wish it was permanent, but it's, it's not. All right, so moving on to question number six. What is the thing that got away? The thing you missed and will forever forget not getting. This one was really hard because I'll have this moment of, oh my gosh, I missed out. It sold out. It was limited edition. And then just kind of move on with my life because, I mean, there's always going to be new makeup coming out. There's always going to be new releases. So the one thing that comes to my mind is something I regret not getting. Um, it was from Kat Von D. It was called the Ladybird palette, the Ladybird palette, and also the Esperanza, Esperanza, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably saying it wrong. Oh my gosh, that Esperanza palette. I really regret not getting it. It had this beautiful sugar skull on the front. The colors, I mean, it wasn't a big palette. It was very small, but the colors were just very soft, very, very kind of almost like pastel looking. Very, very pretty palette. I really regret not getting that one in Ladybird. That is a huge, huge regret. I really, really missed out on that one. It was like an all matte, warm palette. But of course now, like today, there's tons of like matte palettes out there, but that is one that I really regret not getting. All right, question number seven. We're on number seven. What thing that was limited edition, but was made permanent later on, made the most sense versus the least sense to you? This one was really hard. I I had to really think about this one and honestly, I still don't know. And yeah, <laughs> I really don't know. It's it's hard to keep track of like all of the palettes that are like released and if they do make them permanent. I don't know. I can't I honestly can't think of any. All right, question number 8. What thing that is permanent do you think would have been better off limited edition? I would definitely say like a lot of the Too Faced stuff. There's a lot of Tarte palettes that are permanent that I think they all look the same, you know, it's the same tones It's just the same repeat over and over again. All right guys. There's only two more questions left number nine What is the best collab limited edition thing released? So far according to you Carly Bible with BH Cosmetics. I snagged the first palette, the Carly Bible palette. This was the 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. This has been well loved. I've hit pan on quite a few of the shadows. You've got highlighters along the bottom. The quality is just amazing. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. You guys know how much I love BH Cosmetics. And I like Carly as well. I love that she's cruelty free as well. And then this is the Deluxe Edition, which I think is amazing. This is still available, but it is limited edition. You can get this off of, I think, Ulta and also BHCosmetics.com. I really love just the colors in here are beautiful. The mattes are pigmented. The shimmers are phenomenal. And the highlighters down here can match any skin tone. They're so pigmented, buttery, smooth. I just, I wish this was permanent. And also, I think this is just one of the best collabs. I really, really do. Alright guys, the 10th and final question is what limited edition or collab edition item would you like to see released? I would love to see Jessica Hayes and Kat Von D do a collab together and create a really awesome kind of grunge, dark, smoky, but still has some nice transition colors eyeshadow palette. That would be so freaking awesome. I would so buy that. I love the eye looks that she does. Super like grunge. I love doing a good grungy eye as well. So that is something I would get very excited for and definitely support 100%. So yeah, <laughs> that is everything you guys. If you want to do this uh, makeup tag, definitely uh, check out the description box. I will put all the questions there so you can copy and paste it and do it yourself. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing something different. If you guys want to see more makeup tag videos, give this video a thumbs up so I know. Leave a comment down below if there's a 
particular tag video you want me to do, I would love to do it. Sounds like a lot of fun. I definitely want to do more of these. So that is everything. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I put new videos out every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, Smarter Beauty. Smarter Beauty. Bye, guys.